What is this trailer? It's running at four frames per second. It looks awful. Fucking hell. Phoenix Dynasty 2 is on Steam now. If you care about content more than graphics, PDO2 is your thing. This fantastic old school MMORPG is awaiting for you with its legendary city and village wars, breathtaking dungeons, caravan missions, and a non pay to win game system. Really? This game sure knows how to hype itself up. Here it goes again. Do you wish to go back to the endless nights of boss killing sprees? <laughs> Legendary Castle Wars. 24 7 PvP maps. Free Autobot. Free, free Autobot? What, what the fuck does that mean? Free Autobot. What? Many other entertaining activities are awaiting for you in this unique, unique MMORPG. If that is not a call to action, I don't know what is. We need to play this game right now. I like content. I like good gameplay. I don't know if I can get over these graphics though. So we've got the choice between five different classes. The Guardian, the Sky Mage, the Healer, the Crimson Mage, and the Fighter. And in typical Asian MMORPG style, each and every one of them have wings for some unknown reason. I think I'm gonna go with the Fighter class and let's call her Fighter. <laughs> Game mode 2D. 2.5D and 3D mode. What does 2D mode look like? 2D mode, you can't scroll in or anything. Let's try 2.5D. I've never had this option, 2.5D. I can now move the camera and I can scroll in and out. Okay, this is 3D mode. It basically gives you a bit more control of the camera. They certainly weren't kidding when they said, this is a game for people who don't care about graphics. No voice acting, we're just gonna click. We're just gonna click through it all. Lots of text. We're gonna click through it because we don't really give a shit. My cursor starts groping the letters. The game's just auto running to the next place I need to go. Fantastic. Don't even need to think or use my brain. As you can see, the user interface was designed by a UI expert in this game. Fight with combat school trainee. It's heading me in this direction. Oh, okay, now they're all popping in. I guess it's a good thing you've got this um, auto-pathing system because I wouldn't have seen them due to the short pop-in range. Push it to the limit. Killing frenzy. Okay, so a, mag a magical flying sword just pops out of nowhere and we're being automatically flown to the next area. What a game. <laughs> the animations on the swords and the movement in general, it's its all at really low FPS as well. Click to learn new skill, crushing impact. Let's test my new ability. So we target with click. We're gonna press our new ability, number two. Oh, he's just get, he just gets one hit. Battle Master Yi, sounds like a League of Legends skin to me. Master Goku, dude, that's not fucking Goku. It might be Goku's granddad. I've been given a sacred chest. It's not that sacred if it's been given to me at level five. It's one of those games where you need to identify the things that you get. Brilliant. Headache inducing, generic Asian track in the background over and over. A game with a black desert styled enhancement system. That's appealing. He looks like an Asian Santa Claus, doesn't he? Is this what he does for the other 350 days of the year before Christmas? Which hangs out on this platform. Eating cakes and keeping himself cool with this wooden thing. We're being floated around on another sword for no reason yet again. I haven't seen any other players yet. I wonder if people actually play this game. I wonder what the furthest anyone has ever gotten in this game is. This is such a gorgeous view, my character says. Maybe in the 1980s in a video game, this could be considered a gorgeous view. <laughs> oh, we've gone for a loading screen. And we're at a new zone. Very low quality audio work has to be said. I fail to see the purpose that this random ring has around the back of the character. This seems to be a main city of some kind. <laughs> 
this <laughs> this guy's name. Old Wang. <laughs> Fucking hell. The world design's fucking brilliant in this game. You just click on the button and you just, just get teleported everywhere. Can't believe I found another player. He's level 49 as well. There's another person in the background. This game is more populated than Bless Online already. It's an ostrich on acid. Look at this guy. He's shirtless, wearing shorts. Got some demonic wings. He's dropped some dollars on the game. Some MMO players out there, they're waiting for World of Warcraft 2. They're waiting for Ashes of Creation, Lineage Project TL. These people don't need that game. They just don't need it because they've got Phoenix Dynasty 2 providing all the content that they could ever want. Another level 49. I thought it was going to be a dead game. As you can see, it's alive and it is thriving. Look at all of the people. This person's driving a ram. Joshua MRS sent me a private message saying, Sa. I think in Spanish that means hello. So I'm responding in Dutch. What I've typed is, Hi, I am Fighter. A level 7 hero in Phoenix Dynasty Online 2. As you can see, my Dutch writing skills are coming along quite nicely. Joshua just says, okay. <laughs> I don't think he understood what I said. <laughs> Take the wooden chest off the ground. There we go. Teleport to the wooden chest. Why would it make me teleport from there to there? What the fuck? It's just, it's just making me teleport to everything. It, could, it couldn't even make me just walk this little distance. Let's click on it. it really? We, the game's teleporting me from, back, from here back to him. Brilliant. Somehow I feel as though this thing would topple over given normal physics parameters. Kill brown bull. So the brown bulls are over there. We could just be lazy and we could just tell... Teleport next to them. Oh bloody hell, it's a big it's a big AoE taunt. It's taunted everything around me. We're getting drunk with drunk cards. Oh bloody hell. In a weird way, the game's graphics actually look a bit better when my character's drunk. You know what this game could do to improve and be even more innovative with auto pathing technology? Remove the cast bar when you click the teleport. That would make it even better. If you're gonna skip the entire leveling experience by just teleporting from A to B. Just start me at max level. Why even have a leveling process? There's no point. The game's basically just a clicking simulator. There's a random pissed off rock monster here. Look at him. The artist did a great job designing this little guy. Talk to Ranger Feng. I wonder if it will let me teleport to him when I'm standing this close. Really? There should be a fucking bit of text come up that says don't be lazy Go run and talk to Ranger Feng yourself. The animations of the mobs are running at about three frames per second So after hitting level 10, it seems to trigger periodic login rewards. There we go We've got ourselves a blue ice wolf to be fair That's quite a cool mount for just hitting level 10. The animations on the mount are fucking abysmal. The mount doesn't turn the mount just appears in a different direction. The mount can also jump. I'm surprised the game even has a jump feature. Can it jump on these things? No. Can't jump on that. Can't jump on that. I can't even jump on this little thing. I can't jump on the drums. What's the point of having a jump button when you can't jump on anything? And also, what's the point of even having a mount when you just teleport to everything? <laughs> it's things like this that make me question whether or not we're actually living in a simulation of some kind. And the whole MMO genre as a whole is just a social experiment. Because how do you explain Phoenix Dynasty 2? You just can't explain that. Why is Joshua MRS playing Phoenix Dynasty 2 when he could be playing <laughs> literally any other MMORPG that exists? If you get bored of playing a generic Asian MMORPG, you can go to 2D mode and pretend you're playing a Chinese knockoff version of Diablo. Pull every mob in the zone. There we go. Fighting all the feral. Oh, we're dead. We actually bloody died. These feral raccoons. They should be taken seriously. I've just re-logged into the game and I've got this message pop up. Welcome to Phoenix Dynasty 2 and the MMO universe you have been longing for. If you give up on Phoenix Dynasty Online 2 before level 35, you will miss out on the real action and adventure. 
So you have been warned. We may not have the best graphics ever, but we will bring you a vast universe and you want to be a part of it. So join this eternal war and be a hero now. <laughs> I think they're trying to sell you additional account security on the store. Who is going to hack your account for this game? Let's have a look at the cash shop, shall we? I'm assuming the game does have a cash shop. These are the game's clothes, suits, pool party, features, max HP plus 2%. I thought the game's supposed to have no pay to win in it. You can also buy potions and elixirs that give fairly substantial stat increases on the cash shop. It doesn't seem overly pay to win, but to say the game has zero pay to win, I think that's a bit of a lie. Let's have a look at some Steam reviews, shall we? I'm interested in seeing what people actually think about this game. This guy has played the game for 7.3 hours. How, dude? 128 hours. Another one, 136 hours on record. This person's actually given it a positive review. Looks good. Who played Metan 2 or Flyfe will understand. Either you like it or you won't. There's nothing wrong with the game. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the game. <laughs> what? I wish, I wish I could be this guy. I wish I could be Fudge Muffinator because if he thinks there's nothing wrong with this game, he is gonna have so much fun playing any other MMO out there. His standards are so low that anything he plays, he will just enjoy and he'll just be so happy. Played it for about six hours or more, the game is a yawn fest. Did you really need to play it for six hours to figure that one out? <laughs> Phoenix Dynasty 2, Chinese MMORPG innovation at its finest. 